Hello grade 10s. Today we will look at methods to help us find the equation of a function. These methods can be applied to any graph, but in order to be good at it, we need to remember everything we have learned about functions so far. A function is a relationship between the two variables, x and y. In each function, there is an a and a q value, which affect the shape and the position of the function on the Cartesian plane. When a question asks us to find the equation of a function, we need to find the values of a and q and substitute them into the standard form of the function. This means that we need to understand the changes the values of a and q will make to a function. Let's try our question together. Find the equation of the straight line, marked g in this diagram. If the parabola is defined by the h of x is equal to x squared minus 4. Functional notation has been used in this question. This makes it easier to identify graphs when there is more than one on the Cartesian plane. We need to find the equation of the graph marked with g. So where exactly do we start? Here are a list of tips to help us with finding the equation of a function. First, write down the standard form of the equation you wish to find. Step 2. Check to see if the a or q value is given in the graph. Substitute this value into the standard form of the equation. In easy problems, it may be enough to just do step 1 and 2 to find the equation of a function. In most questions, we will only be able to find one of the variables in step 2 and we have to move on to step 3 and 4 to find the equation of the function. Step 3. You will need the coordinates of a random point on the graph. Substitute this into the new equation of the graph you made in step 2 and solve for the missing value. Step 4. Write out the equation of the function, including the values of a and q, which were found in step 2 and 3. Let's see how this works when we apply the method to the problem given earlier. So this diagram shows the graphs of two straight lines and a parabola. You should be able to identify the parabola by looking at the shape of the curve. We have to find the equation of g, which represents a straight line. Step 1 is to write out the standard form of the equation of a linear function. This is y is equal to a times x plus q. The next step is to check if a or q is given. Remember that q represents the y-intercept of a straight line. This is a very good example of testing your interpretation of graph skills. The y-intercept is indicated. Can you see a way to find it? The y-intercept of the linear function is at the same point as the y-intercept of the quadratic function. The equation of the quadratic function is given, which means it will be easy to find the y-intercept. The q value of h of x is negative 4. This means that the coordinates of point A is 0 and negative 4. This means that the q value of the linear function g is negative 4. Now we need to put this into the standard form of the function. y is equal to ax minus 4. We still need to find the value of a. To do this, we need to follow step 3. We must find a point on the function and substitute it into the equation we just made. The point 4, negative 2, lies on the line we are working with. Let's substitute it into the equation. Negative 2 is equal to a times 4 minus 4. Let's solve this linear equation. Minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 4a. 2 is equal to 4a. 2 divided by 4 is equal to a, which means that the value of a is a half. Now that we know the value of a and q, let's put both of them into the standard form for a linear function. y is equal to half x minus 4. The question used functional notation. 
This means that we must give our answer in functional notation. The function was given the label g. So this means that the equation is g of x is equal to half x minus 4. Let's try another one together. Use the diagram to determine the equation represented by f. The first step is to write down the standard form of the function. This is a hyperbola, which means the standard form is represented by y is equal to a over x plus q. Remember that x appears in the denominator in this. Now let's move on to step 2. We need to see if the values of a or q are given in the diagram. Remember that q is the same value as the horizontal asymptote. This means that q is equal to 2. Let's substitute this into the equation. y is equal to a over x plus 2. Step 3 is to find a point on the function and substitute it into the new equation. There are two points indicated on the diagram, but only one is a point on curve f. This point is 1 and 5. Let's substitute this and solve for a. 5 is equal to a over 1 plus 2. 5 minus 2 is equal to a. This means that a has a value of 3. Now that we have the value of a and q, let's put it into the standard equation for a hyperbola. y is equal to 3 over x plus 2. Let's put it into functional notation. f of x is equal to 3 over x plus 2. And that's all we have time for grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about functions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.